Happy Hump Day! Welcome to the Weekly Sex Update. I'm Dr. Sanjaya, America's sex educator, and it is time to talk about sex. So have you heard about the new vagina implants? Yes, I said vagina implants. Well, in case you haven't, four teenagers from Mexico recently received custom-made vaginas grown in a lab especially for them. I know! Custom-made! Seems a little posh, little foo <laughs> for my taste. But I do have to agree in this situation that was the way to go. Because a vagina is just not the type of item you want to buy off the rack. <laughs> so why did they need a new vagina, you ask? Well, these young ladies, the vagina recipients, were born with a rare condition called meyer rokitansky Kusterhauser syndrome, or MRKHS for short. I know, it just rolls off your tongue. <laughs> the condition caused the women to have vaginas that were either underdeveloped or completely missing. So doctors took a tissue sample and made a biodegradable scaffold that was used to grow each vagina in just the right size and shape for each woman. And now they've had a few years to try them out and the news is good, people. Fortunately, all have reported normal levels of desire, arousal, lubrication, orgasm, and satisfaction. Doctors estimate that about 1,250 patients are born each year who could benefit from a new vagina. So the burning question on everybody's mind is, will Obamacare cover a new kitty cat? <laughs> well, whether you're dealing with a new or used vagina, you do want to keep it healthy. And that's why I'm telling you about the promising new anti-HIV vaginal gel. Unlike all those other anti-HIV gels that must be applied before intercourse, like, what a drag. I don't have time to put on a condom. But hold on a minute, let me grab my anti-HIV vaginal gel. Well, this new gel is revolutionary because it can be applied up to six hours after sex. Ladies, that's almost enough time to figure out whether or not he's gonna call. <laughs> Speaking about new vaginas, old vaginas, and HIV really makes one realize that vaginal care must be continuous. That's why I carry around my little Kegel exerciser. According to rigorous sex studies reported in my best-selling book, Sex in South Beach, Kegels not only keep your vaginal muscles intact, but even more important, they also keep your sex life on track. My studies in the bars of South Beach showed that men never forget the girl who did her Kegels during intercourse. So the love lesson here is, ladies, if you're not doing Kegels during sex, your man may be thinking about that girl who did. <laughs> and now it's time for the word of the week. Sapiosexual, a person sexually attracted to intelligence. I never thought I would watch the weekly sex update, but I am a sapiosexual, and I was captivated by Dr. Sanjaya's brilliance. Well, sapiosexuals, that's all I have for you tonight. Next time, we'll talk about the power of the penis. And until we meet again, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, where I dole out a daily dose of nookie knowledge. Thanks for watching. I hope I made your hump day happier.